I have a fraction word problem for you. We're going to talk about adding the fractions versus working backwards to find a total. Emma raised money for her local animal shelter. Half of the money went to their clinic to help the animals that were sick. One third of the money went towards food. $500 was left over that went to fixing the kennels. How much money did Emma raise? Now, the wording of this is very important. It says half of the money. That means half of the total. This says one third of the money. That means one third of the total. Then there was $500 left. Now, if it had said one third of the remaining money up here, if it said half went to the clinic and one third of the remaining money went to the food, that would mean that half the money went to the clinic and then this half that was left over then one third of this went towards food. But it doesn't say that. It says one third of the money, so that means one third of the total. So we can just add these. How much money did Emma raise? Half of it went to a clinic, one third of it went to food, and $500 went to the kennels. So to solve this problem, we can add the fractions together and then find $500 as a fraction. We list the data that we found in the problem, half to the clinic, one third towards food, the $500 to the kennels. We add the one-third plus the one-half together. We need to find a common denominator, and that's six. So we have three-six plus two-six plus the $500 is going to give us the amount that she raised. Three-six plus two-six is five-six. And plus the $500 is going to give us our total. Well, if this is five-six, then this must be one-six. See? So $500 is one-sixth of what number? We multiply by the reciprocal, six over one. We can put this over one, can't we? We multiply straight across. 500 times six is 3,000. One times one is one. This simplifies to 3,000. We know Emma raised $3,000. And it was all because of the wording, half of the money, one-third of the money. Now let me show you the difference. We were splitting an amount into parts of the whole. We add all the fractional parts together with whatever is left over. So the clinic got half, a third went to the food, and between the clinic and the food, this little piece was the $500 that was left over. It turns out it was one-sixth of the whole amount. Now compare that to slowly removing fractional amounts of previous fractional amounts, like a running total. Like if we had 100 pennies and we take away one-tenth of them, one-tenth of a hundred is ten, so we take ten away, we have ninety pennies, don't we? Now, if we take away half that are left, or half that are remaining, that means we're taking half of the ninety, not half of the one hundred, see? And half of ninety is forty-five. And if we take away one-ninth of the remaining, the forty-five is what is remaining. One-ninth of forty-five 9 times 5 is 45, so we're going to take away 5 away. Now we have 40 pennies. And if we take away 1 fourth of those left, well, 1 fourth of 40 is 10. We'd have 30 pennies left. So these amounts are all based on the previous amount, where this one wasn't. Half of a total went to the clinic, one third of the total went to the food, and then the 500 was left over. This one, we're finding a fractional part of what was remaining. Okay, so let me show you this word problem. Tala had a box of cookies. She gave one-tenth to Emma. Then she gave half the remaining cookies to Bob. Dave then received one-ninth that were left after Bob took some. Tala had 24 cookies left, so how many were originally in the box? Now this one is the second type. It says, after Emma took hers, she gave half the remaining cookies to Bob. See? And then... Dave got one-ninth after Bob, and then she had 24 left. So Emma's got a tenth. Bob has half of what was left over after that, and Dave has one-ninth of what was left over after Bob. So what we're going to do is we're going to work backwards. We're going to start with Dave and go backwards to Emma. So it said that 24 cookies were left after Dave took his one-ninth. So if we had ninths, Here's nine-ninths. That's one whole, right? If we take away one-ninth 
and 24 are left, well, that means 24 is 8 ninths, doesn't it? So 24 is 8 ninths of what whole number? So we do 24 over 1 times the reciprocal, 9 eighths. See, we flipped it around. And 24 times 9 is 216. 1 times 8 is 8. We divide 216 by 8, and we get 27. So we know that there were 27 cookies left before Dave took his 1 ninth. He took his 1 ninth, and then there were 24. Okay? So now let's work backwards some more. We know that Bob took half. So if there were 27 cookies left right at this point, after Bob took half, there were the 27 left. So what was there before Bob took the half? Well, 27 is half of what number? We multiply 27 over 1 by the reciprocal of a half. That's a 2 over a 1. And we get 54 over 1. That simplifies to 54, doesn't it? So after Emma took one-tenth, there were 54, okay? So if she took one-tenth, here's tenths, here's ten-tenths as one whole. If she took one-tenth and then there were 54 left, 54 is now nine-tenths of what number? We do 54 over 1 times the reciprocal, 10 over 9, and we get 54 times 10 is 540. And 1 times 9 is 9, and we find out she had 60 cookies. See? So we had to work backwards because it kept saying a fraction was taken of the remaining amount compared to from the total amount. All right? That's the difference. So be very careful of wording in word problems. You want to see if it says from what was left or is it from the total. Okay? So I hope that cleared up any confusion that you might have when you do these word problems. Break it into little parts and try to solve each little part, all right? I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.